Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm East Philly. Today we're going to do another dual purpose video. Today we're talking about the Surefire Sonic Defenders Plus. And uh, I'm going to go over why I think they're a great multi use item for different things in life. So, what are the Surefire Sonic Defenders Plus? What they are is an earplug. And uh, these are some of the best ones I've used for multi-purpose use. So what it does, it comes in this case, comes with one earplug for your right side, one for the left side. And it comes with this little strap doohickey thing that you can put in there. It comes with a little beaded chain. The beaded chain actually goes for the outside, so you can plug it to a belt or something. And this one is a three flange design. And what these are made for, Surefire is pretty much a tactical company. They're mainly made for range use. Uh, they have a little hole pocket thing. If you're at an outdoor range, you can leave that open so you can hear range commands better. Since it's outdoors, there's not as much echo or reflection of sound. If you're at an indoor range, you can just close that little piece and it keeps less noise from getting in. So when I was thinking of doing a video about different hearing protection, for the motorcycle, uh, I had tinnitus in my left ear from an accident and from just general motorcycle riding and shooting. And I really wanted something that would help me with wind noise while I'm on the motorcycle. And I figured that these would be something good because if I really had some bad wind noise or I was having a day where tinnitus was acting up, I could just plug the hole and get more sound out. But this design wasn't very great. It took out too much noise. I couldn't hear traffic coming down side streets or anything like that. It would block out directions from the Bluetooth. But these are great for the range and for shooting. They're also good for working with power tools. But again, it sometimes it blocks out too much noise. You can't hear someone yelling from behind you. So what I did was I bought the two flange design. What this does is this one goes into your ear, but it doesn't block out as much noise. Uh, I'll look up the specific decibels, and if I remember, I'll put them up on the screen for each one. I believe these are the EP2s, and those are the EP4s. These still have a little port so that I can plug it up if I need more noise reduction, but I find on the motorcycle, and working with power tools, this takes out enough noise for it to be comfortable and not hurt my ears but it doesn't take out so much that I don't have as much perception of what's around me. I can hear cars. The little hole actually seems to channel and funnel my Bluetooth audio into my ear better. I've noticed that I actually hear what's coming over the speaker clearer, even at high speeds, than without these ends. So it actually works pretty well. These aren't foam plugs, so they're not going to be the greatest at noise reduction but they are flange, they do fit into the ear canal pretty well. And you put them in just like any other type of piece like that, you pull the ear up a bit, and you just slide it in, and it stays there. The little notch, or not really a notch, but the piece around it is flexible. It fits into the ear, which I need because I had some cauliflower ear from when I used to do jiu-jitsu. And uh, some plugs and holders don't really work too well but it also makes it a very compact design. Compared to these earplugs, uh, I think these are just based, these are actually these are Howard-like earplugs. These are good because of the quadruple flange. These again fit in just by pushing them in there. These are great for the range because they're easy to go in. They block a lot of noise. You could grab the tip and pull them out. And they have this little string attached to it. For the motorcycle, this doesn't work so well. This little piece sticking out can rub against the sides, it'll push it around, the vibrations from the helmet can rub on it, and it actually makes it a little bit more uncomfortable for your ear. I also have these Alpine Hearing Protection Moto Safe earplugs, and these are actually really great. What they do is they have a dual flange earplug with some different inserts. You can see how they label it here. The green one lets more noise in, the yellow one lets less noise in. It's just the diameter of the hole in there. These work great as well. They come with a little applicator. Put the earplug in there. Again, you pull up on the ear, 
you stick it in, you rotate it a couple times just to get it into the canal, and it goes right in. And it feels good, it's low profile, lower than those ones, but I've had some problems with it where the little piece of my ear here uh, kind of blocks from grabbing that little rod and you are able to push these in pretty far to a point where I actually had some trouble getting them out. Uh, I had to get tweezers and pull them out. Mostly my fault, pushing them in too far. But I didn't like it that I couldn't get them out too easily. They were small and if I didn't have the carry case on me, uh, I would lose them in my pockets. I couldn't find them sometimes. And it was just scary having something in my ear that I couldn't get out after I was done riding. And then I just can't hear what's around me too well. With these ones, they're low profile. And if I leave that little piece out, I can grab, hook my finger through it, or I can just grab the little piece there and pull, and they come right out. As I was saying with the Howard lights, they stick out and it rubbed and that made it uncomfortable. Foam earplugs were uncomfortable for me. They just made my ear hurt after a while. These Surefire ones work great for me. They're flexible, they're big enough that you can throw them into like a pocket or a side pocket and still find them. The texture is different than most anything else you have, but they're small enough that you can just store them in a pocket. The carrying case for them is pretty small. If you did want to have some type of neck thing, it has that availability. So all in all, that is my favorite one out of all the ones I've tried so far. All these are pretty multi-purpose depending on your use, but those are the ones I find the best personally. Again, there's different designs. Uh, I think there's actually another design. I don't really remember. They offer different levels of hearing protection. Uh, the decibel reduction is what you want to look for. The higher the decibel reduction, the more protection it gives you, the more noise it blocks out. For me, the two flange design works very well because I mainly use them just for motorcycle riding. But if I did ride to the range and I forgot my other hearing protection, I'd feel comfortable just putting those in and shooting. And then while I'm in the basement working on some woodwork and stuff or reloading and I'm using power tools or whatever I'm doing, uh, they work very well just to reduce the noise just enough for that but still let me hear if someone upstairs is calling me or if I have music on in the background I can still hear it without just being bored down there. Well thanks for watching everyone. If you like it, give it a like. If you dislike it, give it a dislike. And if you did dislike it, that's okay. But please let me know in the comments below why so I can make this channel better for both you and me. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see you all next time.